Did you realize you can actually increase your traffic and rankings simply by translating your website? This is a task that can actually be done in just a matter of minutes. And today I'm going to show you how using Linguise. Linguise is an excellent way to instantly translate your website and increase your traffic. With over 80 languages to choose from, Linguise can be connected to your WordPress site, your WooCommerce store, and pretty much any type of website that you have. Now, with several website translation options on the market, Linguise has a high quality translator that relies on neural machine translation. This is the same technology that companies like Amazon and Microsoft use. This means you can have a fully accurately translated website in as little as 10 minutes. And if you're thinking, why would this be something I want to consider doing? Well, let me tell you, this is actually very important for customers to be able to really understand the products and the services that you offer in a language that they understand and they are most comfortable in. This helps them stick around. And not only that, a person tends to do searches in their native language. So this means that when you have your content translated, this is going to help your SEO. You are going to start to appear for searches in other languages, which is going to bring in a new set of traffic for you as well. And if you've ever considered having your content manually translated, you know that that can cost you thousands and thousands of dollars to do, not even considering the amount of time that that takes. So this is a very inexpensive option. Now you're going to be able to configure the language switcher so that this actually works with your style of site and I'll show you how. But before I do, this is very important to note that this is actually a light plugin. They use a remote cache system and they do not duplicate the content of your local database. All of that just means that this is going to make sure that your website continues to load quickly. Plus you can get an entire month of translation services and be able to actually see the results that come from this completely for free. So let me show you just how easy this is to do and what kind of data you can get from your own translation dashboard. As you can see here, this website has a translation option right here in the menu. And if we click on this, it gives us a pop-up and allows us to select from several different languages. So this is what we are going to be setting up on your website, but you're going to be able to configure this to look the way you want it to. So in order to do this, we only need two things. The first is we need to have our Linguise account open and ready again. You can create an account completely for free to test this out. And then we need to have our WordPress dashboard or your site open. And in this case, since we are using WordPress, we're simply going to install Install the Linguise plugin, which is available in the WordPress plugin directory. So we can do that directly from within our dashboard. Once that has been installed, we are going to go down and we are going to get this set up. Now, the first thing we want to do is to connect our website to our Linguise account. And we're going to do that by using an API key, which is going to go here right here at the top. So we're going to head back to our Linguise dashboard. From here, we want to go into our website and go to settings. And right here, you will see your API key. So we're gonna copy that and head back over to our dashboard. We'll paste that here and apply that. And now we have just a few settings. The first is we need to make sure that we select our correct website language. So our original language is English, and then we can select all of the languages that we wish to translate our site to. So in this case, we have German, Spanish, French, Hindi, and so on. So if we want to remove any of these, we can simply select the X and it will go away. And if we want to add any, it will give us a whole list of all the different languages. And we can simply select that and that will be added to our language list. Now scrolling down just a little bit here, we can decide how we want to go about adding this to the website. If we want it to appear as a menu, as you saw, we can do that here. But if you want to place that in a different location, you can use a short code or a PHP snippet to do that. So if you wish to have the language switcher there in the menu, you actually need to come over to appearance and menus. And at the top here, you will see Lingualese switcher. So you're going to select that and add it to your menu and click save. And that's automatically going to place that into the menu of your website, just like you saw. And when you scroll below here, this is where you're going to be able to customize the look and feel of this a bit more. So here you can decide how you want the language list to actually display. So we have a few options. The first is side by side. We have a drop down and a pop up. So as you can see right now, it is set to pop up. So if you come over here and you click on English, 
it shows you the pop-up. But as you select a different option, let's select drop down. Now you can see when I hover over English, this gives me all of the options here. And if I select side by side, as you can see, it just lists all of them out. So if you wanted to have that in the footer of your website or on the sidebar or somewhere else that you use your short code or PHP snippet, then you can have that look. So we'll just leave this as a pop-up for now. You can also choose to have this show the actual flag like it does now, or you can take that off and simply have just the language names there. Or you can do it the other way around, just have flags and the language name. But people do tend to associate the flags with the different languages when they are browsing a website. So I think that is helpful to have there. So as you scroll down, you'll see a few more settings. And this is really all you need to do here. You can have this converted to the native language or just leave in English and allow the user to change it if they want. You can change the flag style. Do you want it to be a rectangle? Do you want to have this be bigger? Do you want to have it a little bit smaller? You can change all of those settings. And the same thing with the hover color or the name color. If you want to use a different color other than black, that way you can just match it to your color scheme. If you want it to stand out a little more, you can do that. And you can play around with how the actual shadow around the flag here shows up. So once you are done with that, you can simply select on save settings and you can go back to your website and that is it. This is now going to be installed on your website and your website is ready to be translated. So I can come back over to the website and refresh it. And now I can see the change that I made to the flag has changed here. So when I click on the pop-up, all of the flags now are this rectangular shape. So it allows you to do anything you want there. Lastly, back over in your dashboard, you do have advanced settings. And this is especially important if you want to change that pretext language that comes up in the pop-up. So right now in the pop-up, it does say this translation is made by Linguis Neuro Automatic Translation. It's not been edited at all. So if you want to change the text that shows up in the pop-up, you can do that there or simply delete it. Now let's head back over to the Linguis dashboard. What's great about the dashboard is this is going to give us some stats to help us make sure that this is actually getting us some results here. So here we can actually see the number of characters, the number of words that have been translated on the website, and we can start to see the amount of page views once this is installed and how many multilingual page views we're actually getting and having that broken down by language. So we can see that primarily the site is being translated into French and German. So this gives us some insight into who is actually using the website. We have 11% between Spanish and Japanese, and then it gets to be smaller percentages after that. But that is helpful to know. And we can see the top pages that are actually being translated and into what language, how many views each of those are getting. But at the top of our dashboard here, there are some things that I wanna point out. The first is the rules. And this is going to allow you to create new rules about how your site is translated. So let's say for instance, that you have some text that you want to have ignored or text that you want to have replaced or if you want content to have an exclusion, all of these, you can change the rules of how that works here. So let's say for instance, that you have a brand name that has some generic words in it. So you don't actually want those words translated because it is the brand name. Then you're going to be able to put that text to ignore here and add that as a rule. That way the brand name does not get changed. So that is something important to do, especially considering what the brand name may be. Now you can also go into translations here and it is going to show you the different translations for the different pages and the different languages. And you're able to go in here and actually edit the actual translations here if you want to. What is a little bit easier is if you want to use the live editor, which you can do here, simply by clicking on this open live editor. This is going to take you over to your actual website and let you translate it right there so it's a bit easier to see. So we'll say we want to translate the website into Spanish and we're gonna click translate. Now you can see as we come back over to the website, it is showing us the Spanish version here. But as I hover over, look, now I'm able to actually make changes to this. So I can simply click on the text, I can see the translation, and then I can make any changes that I wanted here too. Uh, but since that's correct, I'm gonna cancel that. But just to show you here, you're able to make any of those changes directly on the live website and then save those changes. So this is how you are able to translate your website in as little as 10 minutes, start bringing in some additional traffic, making your customers 
better understand your products and your services, making them be able to consume information that you have for them in their native language and be able to help connect with them a bit more there. If you have any questions about Linguise or translating your website at all, don't hesitate to drop those down in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you next time.